Today's News Channel, this is ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Good morning, West Tennessee, Saturday. More details are being released about why Goodyear has decided to call it quits. Good morning, West Tennessee, and thanks for joining us. I'm David Iverson. That star story tops our news this morning. Before we get to that, though, we'll check in with forecaster Ryan Hoke, who's standing by in the Viper 7 Weather Center for a look at your morning's forecast. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, David. Well, if you need a break from the tough winter we've had, well, we certainly have that in store. Let's check out Fast Track Radar, see if we have any rain on the radar. And well, I think we're pretty clear right now, and it looks like we're going to stay that way as we go throughout the day. Your current conditions, though, are pretty winter-like at 29 degrees under clear skies, dew point around 20, and winds are out of the west-southwest at 8 miles per hour. Your pinpoint forecast? We'll take you throughout the day. We'll see sunny skies throughout the day. And in fact, we'll get up into the upper 40s, possibly near 50 degrees here in Jackson by the 3 p.m. hour and down to 42 degrees by 6 p.m. tonight. 31 degrees will be your overnight low. We'll see mostly clear skies by tomorrow. We'll introduce a couple clouds in there with an approaching front, but I think we'll get up to around 59 degrees near 60 in our southern parts of the viewing area. David. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan. You may be looking out your window seeing snow on the ground this morning, but we could be talking temperatures in the 70s by the end of next week. I'll have your forecast coming up after the break. Oh boy, glad he's okay, huh? Yeah. 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 Ryan's joining us now to take a look at our forecast. And Ryan, uh, things are getting pretty warm out there, but we still have snow on the ground, like yeah, you said. Yeah, speaking of good recoveries <laughs> there, yeah, we're going to take a temperature recovery from the long and mm -hmm. tough winter we've had. Looking in our weather crystal ball, I'm seeing folks in shorts and t-shirts no. as we get into the February. middle part and end of next week. I know it. Yeah. Well, we still have snow on the ground, as you said before. Right. Well, anyway, fast track <laughs> radar this morning, looking pretty clear as we see it right now. No rain, no snow, no sleet. A region this morning looks like a pretty good forecast as well for the rest of the day as we won't see this radar fill up with any kind of precipitation. In fact, your current conditions though still looking a bit winter like out there 29 degrees with a dew point around 20 degrees and winds are out of the west southwest at around eight miles per hour. Current temperatures across West Tennessee this morning are generally in the upper we're seeing 29 in Trenton, 29 in Paris. Good morning, Union City. We're seeing 24 up there. A very chilly morning in northwest Tennessee. But we are seeing upper 20s, 29 in Henderson and 29 in Somerville as you work your way southward. And really, on the infrared satellite view, we're not seeing anything in terms of cloud cover across the region this morning. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of cloud cover as we go throughout much of the day as well. And really, the Doppler radar view showing clear scans across west Tennessee this morning and throughout the region as well. And as we see it right now, we're seeing some snow showers up there in Pennsylvania and Ohio. Those are moving eastward. I don't think we're going to see any of that around West Tennessee today and throughout much of the week as well. Vipercast showing that we will have a few clouds in here, possibly this morning. I don't think that's really going to be the case, but we will clear any of that out by the afternoon hour. Should be a very nice day. We'll get up to around 50 degrees here in West Tennessee. Tomorrow should be about the same story as well. We might have a cloud or two with the approach of a small boundary that will be coming through the area here on Sunday night into Monday morning. That's really just going to be a cold front that's losing its so I don't think we're going to see really much in the way of colder, te colder temperatures and any precipitation and cloud cover as well. But speaking of a warm up, hey, how about this? Today we're going to get up to 50 degrees, but by Friday we'll be talking 69 degrees for a high here in Jackson. Some of our southern counties could see the big 70 as we get into the end of next week. Certainly a big warm up in the forecast and today is definitely a step in the right direction. We'll see 49 in Alamo, 46 in Union City, 47 in Camden. Here in the Hub City, we'll see that 50 degree reading there. Definitely sunny and warming up across the area. We're not going to see those increased temperatures really until tomorrow going through next week. But hey, 50 degrees for this time of year, not too bad, especially when we still have some snow on the ground. And we have those southwest winds at around five miles per hour, giving us that warmer air in here as well. Your ABC seven day forecast showing us some definite nice weather as we go into next week. We'll have those 50s until at least Tuesday. I think we might get up to 60 on Tuesday. There. But then by Wednesday, we'll get really into the 60s, mid 60s throughout Wednesday and Thursday by Friday. I think some areas could hit that 70 degree mark. No rain in the forecast. Looks pretty good. David. All right. Thanks a lot, Ryan. A snowboarding competition 
was held in West Palm Beach. Here's your seeing someone taking a test run down the Red Bull Buttercup. Of course, it was too warm for real snow, so snowboarding industry brought in their own. So it reminds of us of West Tennessee through this past week, but all that uh, green grass reminds us of uh, probably this weekend, huh? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Big changes are coming up in the forecast. That snow on the ground you see outside your window is it's going to go away. It's yeah. on its way out. Let's check out that seven-day forecast there, if we can put that up there. Yeah, 59 degrees for tomorrow after we see 50 today. But then we're going to really warm up through Valentine's Day into the 60s by Wednesday and Thursday. Some of our southern counties on Friday definitely could hit 70 degrees there. Precipitation chances in the forecast there. So it's looking like a pretty good week, pretty good week to uh, take your sweetheart out there for Valentine's sure. Day. Yeah. Definitely. That sounds like a lot of fun. Is it shorts weather though? Shorts you, weather you probably. break it out? Uh, not quite. Okay. Not until right. Wednesday or Thursday though. Hang on to the jeans, hang uh, on to the gloves. Absolutely, right. yeah. Thank you, Ryan, and thank you for joining us. Our next broadcast on the air is tonight at 6. We're always on on WBBJTV.com. Have a great day.